Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do uh, an unboxing from something real, real big. I got me the uh, hardcover editions of Alida Battle Angel box set with a lot of books and something else too and some prints here. Um, so yeah, I was... Look at this box art. So I was, I'm going to open it up first. I was looking for this for a long time since I, you know, uh, I got that. Wait a minute. How do I do this? But I got this manga itch like I told you a couple of times. I got a, a couple of manga coming my way as we speak, although I have a lot here. And I always wanted to, to get the classics, right? Uh, I never saw the anime. I saw the movie. I know, of course, um... I know who Battle Angel Alita is, but, you know, a little bit of a recap here. Uh, I watched a lot of anime back in my time, probably you too. But, you know, in our country, manga was nearly impossible to get. Um, and it was very niche, right? So what I do, or what I did is... Um, wait a minute, what's this plastic going away? So, yeah, I'm, I don't have four arms, guys. So <laughs> Here we go. Right. So um, I, I I watched, you know, a couple of things on the Internet. I mean, there is means to to see this stuff, you know, if you know what I mean. And uh, look at this gorgeous art, man. And now that manga is now dominating uh, the U.S. market and maybe other parts of the world, too. I thought to myself, you know what, I'm going to try to get as much as possible uh, of the manga from yesteryear. You know, I, I got the um, Berserk Deluxe Editions. I got 13 volumes. Um, there is also, I did know that, uh, Blade of the Immortal. Never read that. I heard, only heard good things about it. Um, so, yeah. So, what is Battle Angel Alida? Well, uh, that's a good question. Like I said, I only... How do I get this out of the... Maybe I'm not sure if this works. Probably not. No, <laughs> I need two hands for this. Um, wait a minute, maybe I, I'm gonna use my foot here. <laughs> it's not gonna work either. I need to be creative. So yeah, come on, get out of the box. Maybe I, I don't want to, ah, ah, here it comes. I need to get one out. Then the rest will come. I'm holding the camera at me with my feet. All right. All right. So this is more like an overview. Uh, so what I'm trying to say was, um, I just want to have um, the Alida books and uh, Akira is coming. Um, you know, because I grew up with these manga especially science fiction you know from back in the day um uh and uh i, I always was a science fiction i like science fiction more than fantasy by the way i like them both but science fiction was always something that piques my interest um you know i i saw uh i i watched recently planetus planetus i'm not sure how, how what this mark this gorgeous beautiful looking uh, uh anime slice of life um, I watched a lot of, uh, uh, you know, manga with robots. Uh, I, I remember Eureka, Eureka 7. Uh, of course, Akira, although it's not really science fiction, but also, yeah. Um, wow. Wow. Holy shit. Um... So this is all in black and white, guys, but there's also a couple of uh, colored pages. The art, it's it's very old, but it still looks in, it, it still looks good, you know. Uh, so yeah, this this uh, old man, uh, Doctor Ido, I believe, he is founding Battle Angel. Well, she's not really a Battle Angel here, I guess. And on a, on a scrapyard, and he is taking her home and rebuilding her. And I believe she is was coming from Mars, and she was always a cyborg since she was three years old. 
and uh, she was well versed in the uh, art of um, Panzer uh, something something uh, basically it calls Panzer art uh, you know that's a that's a combat technique uh, also rollerball or something like I said I barely remember anything from um, from uh, from the movie and I like the movie a lot and there's a lot of pages so I'm going to show you a couple of well stuff like this and of course what's uh, what I've seen in the um, oh, what I heard is in, in the anime is not always represented in, in the manga because manga is the source material as you all know and uh, yeah I'm, I'm so I looked up a couple of videos and they say well this is the best version because it has very smooth paper it's white it's oversized it's hardcover um, also I heard that um, that was possibly a spoiler I believe that in the last book um, there was also a double ending, right? So we have the original ending and another ending. Not sure which ones is the, the original one. So since I haven't read the book, right? Sorry for the shaky cam, but you know, I'm doing this with one hand. Um, looks so cool, man. Maybe I should put this, you know, let me, uh, let me put it in this, this thing here, right? My, my tablet and then we try to talk about a little bit more. So yeah, um, the science fiction part always resonated with me uh, a lot. So let me just put these things out of the box first. These are heavy. And um, I was always a sucker. I grew up with, uh, with animation like uh, Captain Future. Probably not of a, a lot of people heard about what that it actually is. Well, Captain Future is, is you know, the typical team up science fiction with robots, a captain that, you know, wants to get rid of space pirates and all that stuff. But uh, we are living close to the German border. So my mom and dad back in the day watched a lot of German uh, television shows, kid shows, you know, like Sesame Street, but then in German. Star Trek, that's called Raumschiff Enterprise. <laughs> and uh, and I didn't know it was actually American. But also, you know, uh, a lot of manga. Um, uh, I'm sorry, anime. Um, so I grew up with uh, Bionic 6. Is Bionic 6 America or is it from Japan? I, I, Japan, I don't know. But, you know, I was fascinated with, with stuff that came out of Japan that I've never, ever seen before. But then also western animation you know like mask transformers visionaries um thundercats although that leans a little bit more to fantasy but you know a lot of uh, you know s stuff in space uh, gundam I, I i wasn't a big fan of gundam but um you know i like i like uh, you know those uh, people in in giant mech suits battling in in space and i forgot probably a lot of um other um, anime uh, uh, titles from back in the day with science fiction elements in it. I watched a lot of them and I, I always and also forgot a lot of them. Um, but you know, just to name a, a few. So let's go. I mean, if I'm going, this feels so nice. And then we have this a little bit other texture here as well. And, you know, I was uh, intrigued by Cyberpunk and then the Cyberpunk game, Cyberpunk 2077 came along and I'm just playing that game, man. Just it's so cool. It's so good. Uh, it's by, uh, I totally forgot. I, I skipped everything because I talked so much. Sorry. This is from Kodansawa Comics. And of course, the creator is uh, Yukito Kishiro, if I'm saying that correctly. Um, so yeah, now I got basically the whole collection. Um, I always wanted to have the original work, but since I cannot get it, um, I think the deluxe editions, you know, it's big, right? The paper is smooth, it's, it's crispy white. Um, I believe the, not sure if they reworked something with lettering and translation. Um, that's a little bit unfamiliar for me because I just, um, 
that itch for I'm, I'm saying uh, I, I continue saying that itch. You know, uh, manga is uh, giving me something that I cannot find in Western comics. Right? You pay five, six, seven bucks maybe for a for twenty four. 26 page maybe comic book and a lot of them are just shit right now don't get me wrong i'm not saying art, art looks so cool um that there's manga in there that's not shit because i got a couple of manga that is i don't like it's not shit but i don't like but when it comes to value for money this is the way to go right so i'm not talking about especially the deluxe editions deluxe editions is pure for people like me that have the money that wants to have this oversized hardcover uh things um and and you know beautiful pages and 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 although these papers a little bit thin you know well the berserk one is a little bit thicker um but you know you get a lot of value for money when it comes to pages so a typical manga you know just a small one uh is around 200 pages maybe 195 250 around that and you can that relatively cheap for 10 15 bucks right um instead of you know paying five six seven dollars for uh, an american comic uh don't get me wrong i'm still buying new comics uh, i got a couple on the way but um when it comes to fantasy science fiction real science fiction or science fiction like retro science fiction um uh, people living on the moon on mars um venus wars for instance i got the um the volume 2 manga and i got the well if you can call it manga manga in in from dark horse it's not really manga but you know it's, it's manga art um the 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 animation venus wars was fucking awesome you know it gives me a more mature uh side of comics uh, i'm sorry uh uh yeah, well, it's not really comics, but manga that I've cannot get in most mainstream comics like Marvel DC, which I of course don't collect anymore because it's, it's shit, in my humble opinion. Um, oh, wait a minute, can can I see the the premise of these? Oh, I got vol. Wait a minute, where's volume two? Oh, Jesus Christ! I'm so sorry, guys. I skipped volume two. So yeah, so here is it. Um, you can pause the video. Cyber Doctor about to hunt Daisuki. Daisuki? Daisuki. Daisuki Ido. <laughs> I'm sorry, my Japanese is, is horrible. Finds the head on torso of an amnesic cyborg girl. Her name is Alida and vows to fill a life with beauty, but in a moment of desperation, a fragment of Alida's mysterious past awakens in her. She discovers that she possesses uncanny prowess and legendary martial artists known as Panzerkunst. With her newfound skills, Alita decides to become a hunter warrior, tracking down and taking out those prey on the weak. But can she hold her humanity in the dark and gritty world of the scrapyard? Isn't that cool, right? Um, I mean, you've got a lot of... I'm not even sure how many pages. Is this a, is, does this have a page count? Probably. Or not. Uh, wait, yeah, yeah, here it goes, I believe. Oh, we've got also some other stuff in here. But we got something here in the beginning... Let me try. I have way more to show you guys. Um, maybe like an index. So, well, there's way more than 200 pages. This is at least 250 to 300, 200, 250 pages at least, right? Uh, per book. So I got volume two here. Um, the the what's what's weird is that the the front is very smooth. Well, Dion is way more glossy here. So this has more smooth texture. This is way more smoother, but this is, you know, has more, fr fr probably friction is not the word, but you can see with my fingers, it has trouble gliding over it. While I'm doing this here, it, it's almost without any hindrance. It's, it's very nice and well done. Um, again, look at this, how many pages. There's something else in here as well. Oh yeah, this is uh, part, or part of the rollerball. Look at this spectacular art, man. I cannot get over it. That's that's also a plus po uh, point for um, manga. Uh, all of these creators are creating beautiful art, mostly of the time. 
it's very consistent. They are, I believe, um, when they create a manga, the creator and artist is doing that from A till Z, till the end. You know, it doesn't take over. Like, I'm, let's say, um, Frank Cho is doing a book, uh, or Jim Lee, or Mark Silvestri, and then two, two comics later, someone else is taking over the book and looks totally different, right? That's not in here. So that means that the art is constantly the same. So if, if you buy book one, the chances are very, 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 very high that book uh, volume 99 and volume 120, if that's, you know, or, for, or volume 60, is has the exact same layout, same panels, same art, uh, same way of storytelling. And that's great, right? Um, I know that black and white is not for everybody, um, but I don't know, man. I just grew up with black and white comics when I was very young because, you know, 70s horror books, it's all black and white. But not only that, I appreciate the line work and the shading and the, and the inking a lot um, because, you know, color can, you know, disguise bad art in modern comics. Um and some colors are pretty cool. It, it sometimes it just enhances the art. Uh, manga doesn't need it uh, because manga, as you can see, this looks just really, really good, right? In my opinion, of course. I mean, you can say, well, this is the way of storytelling. Look at this detail, man. This is incredible. What's going on in front of the screen? And this is not even the best art that uh, or the best page that this uh, book has to offer right um yeah it's just i'm so happy that i got this it's it's not cheap but then the other hand you get then everything uh, and since you probably cannot get the uh, original manga anymore wait a minute i'm just still oh, i'm still recording i'm sorry yeah the, the my camera just switches all from left to right so uh, I think this is the best deal that you can get um, uh, unless they release some deluxe editions but I don't see that any time happens soon um, because this is already a deluxe edition right uh, so yeah there's only one big down oh my god Sorry, I just marvel at the uh, at the things that I see on screen uh, on paper. Um, sorry, Scarlet Territory, maybe or not. As Alita just killing people left and right. Um, so there's only one big downside uh, when it comes to manga. Uh, I discovered, and uh, I hope it's gonna change that soon. It seems that well, if you go to a to a um, to a comic shop, right, and you want to say I, I want to have Batman. 216 volume 2 right just um or, or volume 1 or, or batman 17 volume 3 um or a spider-man or superman from a from a certain time period mostly 90s 20 uh, 2000s um and even if you are lucky in 1980s um you can get that uh, even online uh, i recently discovered that i wanted to have uh there was a uh, a manga that I really wanted to get from 2022. I cannot get that thing every anywhere. So I thought, okay, maybe because, you know, I live in the Netherlands, it's hard to get. And maybe, so I looked through Amazon. And so Amazon had a couple of the manga that I need, that I wanted. But then I discovered that it misses, you know, uh, book two or book seven. And I cannot get that anywhere. So that's very, very frustrating for me. Um, because if I'm liking a manga, I want to get everything, right? Because I know what I'm getting. So I do not hesitate. Well, is maybe volume four um, worse than volume five? Because maybe other writers or other uh, artists. No, that's not the case. Because like I said, the creator is consistently working on that, that book. Um, so you have the same kind of quality. And if you like volume one till four or till five or till three, the chances that you like volume six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, right? Unlike, you know, certain Western comics like <clears throat> Marvel and DC. Um, 
Oh, shit. I'm not going to spoil the territory. That's not what I want. So, yeah, there's a, there's a different ending here as well. Um, um, so the downside is that it's I, I'm not always able to get the other uh, volume. So if you s like what you see, um, I urge you not to wait too long. It uh, depends on where you live, of course, but we don't have giant bookstores with manga. Um, I, I heard that America is, 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 I believe, in Barnes & Nobles and other ones are having uh, a lot of, lot of, lot of manga. Uh, we don't have that. We don't have a Barnes & Nobles or something like that. Uh, we don't have big warehouses when you can go into some kind of an aisle and there's uh, miles and miles of, of manga, uh, unfortunately. Also, um, I'm, I got some prints, which looks really cool. So this came with the book, uh, free prints. And look at this. That's pretty cool. I believe this is the, the sky thing that she needs to go. Look at this. Um, I believe her real name was Yoko before she became Alida. And I believe people colonized Mars before she is, you know, been... I don't know what happened to her, by the way. So, um, Holy Nights and Other Stories. So these are, I don't know. Yeah, well, other, <laughs> other stories. Four stories never published in English. Oh, wow. That's actually cool. So... Look at this. It's it's still still 150, 200 pages, I guess. Uh, isn't that cool? Look at this. Long away the collection of side stories from the classic Badalino universe. Now it's available for the first time in English. Uh, the Holy Nine, Supersonic Finger, Hometown, uh, Bar Jack Rhapsody. Okay. Um, all right. Soon to be Major Holy. Well, yeah. We need a, we need a sequel, man. The movie was fun. Um, so, this, doesn't this look cool? I mean, um, oh wow, what's this? Is this what is, oh, this uh, chronicleology, uh, oh, nice. That's pretty cool. Um... I'm not sure, if, is this the same artist or is this maybe different? But, you know, even if it's a different artist, it looks still spectacular in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, like I said, um, uh, there's a lot of com uh, manga that I missed uh, because of, I don't know why, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I was looking for manga from 2022, 2021. There's a lot of things that, that, that appeal to me in those manga. And I cannot get it. Or it isn't even translated in English yet. That's also a problem. Um, so yeah, but overall, what you if, if it's online in physical form, um, you can get it and, and read it. Uh, look at this. The ink, I love the inking. Yeah, I believe this is a different artist. You know, it looks similar, but still different. But Alida is, is, is still, damn it, look at her. She can go. So is this, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah, the, the, um, speaking of science fiction from Asian countries, they always showed me something that I've never seen before or that I'm, you know, laughing at like this or... Um, you know, that is something that you say, hey, what is that? It, it, it makes you curious. That is why science fiction is something that, that speaks to my imagination a lot. You know, it's fun and, and crazy and, and otherworldly. And, and <laughs> isn't this nice? <laughs> um, yeah. Look at this. Even the colors are very nice, man. Yeah, I'm 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 gonna have a field day with this one. Um, yeah, I just I just like like 
something new, something different, something fresh, something that piques my interest, you know, um, great art, great stories, uh, emotional, emotional payoffs, right? Look at this poor guy in the hospital. Oh, is it, oh, she a girl? Oh, it's, it's, I'm sorry, it's a girl. Um, so yeah, um, I believe this is how far I can go or will go for a spoil everything. Um, so yeah, guys, um, this is fantastic. I'm so happy I got this. Um, and this, uh, this, um, hardcover dishes you can buy. This is, this is way easier to get, right? Um, because I searched online and I said box set because I looked up the, um, uh, some, some videos and they all recommended this box set. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to buy it, take a risk. Uh, but from what I've saw, seen, saw, seen, um, this is going to be a hell of a ride for me. And that brings us to the end of this video. So guys, let me know what you think about Battle, uh, 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 <laughs> Battle Angel Alita. I'm stumbling over my own words. Deluxe editions. Um, are you interested or not? Do you read it? Uh, are you now with the uh, anime or manga or uh, maybe you like uh, manga in general? Uh, leave a comment below, leave a like and all the jazz and I uh, see you next time. Hey, bye bye guys.